I'm also a mom to an almost seven-year-old son and a four-year-old daughter. When I started residency a little over two years ago, my daughter was about to turn two and needed full-time care, and my son was in preschool until three o'clock in the afternoon. Residency is an unpredictable schedule. One month you have to be at work at 6 a.m., another day it's 8 a.m., there are weeknights that are overnight, 24-hour shifts, plus weekend call. This meant I needed childcare that was flexible. My daughter hadn't started preschool, so she needed full-time care. And then we needed someone to pick up our son from preschool. This meant hiring a nanny. The cost of the nanny equaled my after-tax resident salary. This meant my entire salary went to our nanny. I was not able to pay medical school loans, not able to pay for preschool, not able to pay for our housing or food. Again, my entire salary after taxes went straight to our nanny. The cost of quality childcare in Seattle is making it nearly impossible to be a parent and a resident. I like to think that the University of Washington made a good choice choosing me to be part of this residency program. However, if it weren't for my partner not being in medicine, it would have been impossible for me to do residency here. The financial burden this continues to be on my family makes me question how my work is valued here by the University of Washington. One night last year in the middle of a call night, I looked at all of the pictures of all the current residents in our psychiatry program, and I counted the number of parents, and it was 25% of the psychiatry residency. Being a parent is the most rewarding thing I've done in my life, but I've also chosen to dedicate my career to medicine. As the cost of living and the cost of childcare in Seattle continue to increase, the number of residents who can afford childcare during residency will continue to decline. And again, our value as residents to this university is put into question. I was very disheartened to hear that the university's initial proposal included no increase to the childcare fund, despite many residents like myself speaking out about how important this financial support is. The university is not prioritizing the needs of its diverse residents. I feel very fortunate that I get to be a parent and I get to be a resident, but we need more support to be able to do both of these roles well.